What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the iPhone 3GS. This is not for the 3G or the first generation iPhone. I have videos on both of those, so if you have the first generation iPhone or the 3GS, or the 3G, sorry, I have videos on those, so go check them out. Um, but I will be showing you how to unlock the iPhone 3GS. So, uh, as you see, I do already have it jailbroken. You will need to be jailbroken as well. If you don't know how to jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, or you're not already, go ahead and check out my video. I'll have a link in the video description. Uh, this video right here, you will need to be on the 3.0 firmware. Uh, if the 3.0, if the you are if you are already updated to the 3.1 firmware or anything higher than 3.0, uh, you will need to wait or check out my newest videos because I do post new videos when new uh, firmwares are released and jailbreaks and all that. So make sure you check that out. So 3.0 firmware and 3GS only. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before we do anything, and uh, let me go ahead and note this because people always do this in my unlock videos. No, this does not work with Verizon. No, this does not work with Sprint. No, this does not work with any of the other carriers. It only works for T-Mobile in the United States. In other countries, I don't know. So you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. It doesn't. The reason it doesn't support Verizon and Sprint is because it does not have GSM. So you have to have uh, T-Mobile with the US. So we're going to go into settings uh, in general and what we're going to need to do is turn off uh, 3 we need to turn off 3G now I can't even remember where it is, network sorry okay network and then turn off 3G okay and then we're going to do that okay and the reason you have to do that uh, I don't even know why but you just have to <laughs> so what we're going to need to do is open up Cydia uh, so go ahead and turn off 3G, open up Cydia for to have city you do need to be jailbroken check out my video as I said and this doesn't take but a second and uh, it should work pretty well for you okay now let's go to manage and we're going to need to add a repo we're going to hit edit add and then we're going to type it in it is HTTP I'll have this in the description just to let you know the right of the video HTTP repo in case anything changes or anything oh, repo 666 six, six. I don't really like that but that's what it is ultra snow and the snow the uh, zero or the O in snow is actually spelled with a zero dot com so that's what it is HTTP there is an H over there uh, repo 666 dot ultra snow dot com as you see the zero or the O in the word snow is a zero and then we're gonna hit add source that easy. Now we're going to download a package and uh, you should have a unlocked iPhone 3GS. Let it uh, update sources and then we will install the package. Hopefully this works out for you guys. There shouldn't be anything wrong. Uh, this is from the dev team and they know what they're doing with this stuff. So thank the dev team for this. Okay, just hit return to Cydia once that pops up and then we can hit done and then we can go uh, and go into the repo 666 uh, and you will see ultra snow so go ahead it says it's for 3g it does work for the 3gs uh, and hit install i'm not going to do this because i don't want to unlock my iphone 3g uh, s because i'm on at&t but what you'll need to do install that uh let it do that thing and then you will hit the home button once you've got it installed uh you'll need to use the sim ejector thing that at&t gives you uh, if you don't know how to do that right up here is the little sim hole if you see right there right beside the headphone jack I don't know if I could do this with one hand it's pretty much impossible if I can try it let's see you gotta stick it in this little hole that's what she said <laughs> okay so we'll stick it in this little hole and uh, you're gonna push out your sim card and then you'll just put your T-Mobile sim in there I don't wanna break this thing so there we go it pops out and you'll get no SIM card on your iPhone. Then you'll just pull the little tray out, pop your T-Mobile SIM card in there, pop it right back in, and there you go. It should take a second, and you should get T-Mobile service. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it works out for you. If you have any problems, leave me some uh, comments. Don't forget to rate this video five stars if this helped you out, uh, and favorite. So do that, rate, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, reviews, app reviews, uh, unboxings, product reviews, jailbreaks, all kinds of stuff. So check out the site, tiesiphonehelp.com, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.